How you doing? Andre D. Harrison here. I'm the director of the Roll Call and I'm joined with Staten Island Borough President James Otto. Together we're putting together a conference called the New York City Fatherhood and Family Enrichment Conference here in Staten Island for all the families in New York City. Borough President, why do you think a conference like this would benefit the families in Staten Island and the families of New York City? Well, first, I, I, I think um, it kind of sounds cliche, but it's true that family is the foundation for everyone. Um, you build on top of that. And if it's strong, you can build higher. And if it has its problems, everything that you build on top of it is sort of shaky. And uh, I think if you look at today's society, the really good things that are happening and the really bad things that are happening can be linked directly back to the home. Uh, it's where we learn our first lessons. It's where we learn, for good or for bad, things that will carry us or with us for the rest of our lives. Uh, in my instance, uh, you know, I carry to this day many of the lessons that I learned in my parents' house. And I just, I, I know that um, life today is probably harder than even raising uh, four boys the way my parents did. Lots of demands financially. And I think us coming together and having a conversation and talking to parents about their challenges and hopefully helping equip them with the tools to deal with those, I, I think is a great thing that pays benefits in many different ways for a very long time. Okay. So let's... Fast forward maybe five years from now, right? A conference like this that not only is looking to enhance the fatherhood involvement engagement, um, but also as a result of that, enhance the, the families of Staten Island. How do you see family, or the condition of family in Staten Island five years from now with a conference like this in Staten Island in New York City? Well, I, again, I, th I think there are real challenges. And, and I think when you go throughout your day, when you go throughout your week or your month on Staten Island, some of the most obvious things, again, good and bad, I think directly relate back to what's happening or what's not happening in the home. My hope would be this conference puts, you know, sort of plants the seed in a lot of different households and, and we help parents to strengthen what's happening in their house. And then I think you see that play out five years from now with, with a, a, a kinder, a more considerate, a smarter Staten Island populace. I, I think the, the good qualities that I, that I have, the, the attributes that, that I have uh, that I think are positive are traced back to the lessons I learned in my house. And we want to produce the best Staten Islanders possible and I think the stronger the family unit, the more likely it is that uh, young men and women, you know, have that fighting chance to, to make it in what is it's a, it's a difficult time. And uh, so my hope would be that you would start seeing the dividends uh, that we plant, uh, you know, in the coming weeks. Okay. Well, I do want to thank you for your time. And I think the, the fact that you want a conference like this here on our borough speaks a lot to how much you value family. You, you, you're, the, you're the person of the two of us right here who <laughs> deserves a thank you for having the courage to talk about a, a difficult topic and, and asking each of us to sort of con confront it and, and look ourselves in the mirror and saying, you know, are we sort of living up to the ideal of our parents? And as parents, are we doing right by our kids? And it's not an easy topic. And some... Um, some um, some folks may take offense to, to to us even raising it because you are holding up a mirror. Sure. But I think you, this is critically important. All the work that we do in government, it's undercut if in our homes, in our individual families, that there isn't that, that, that family unit and the real lessons, the initial lessons are, aren't being taught. So this is hand in glove and I, I, I tip my hat to you and that's why I'm so happy to be a partner with you in this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I, say, I always say that um, fatherlessness is the subtle snake in the grass of urban communities that are biting families and crippling our children.
And uh, I guess my hope is that this conference will really open up the eyes of everybody. Not you know, and I want um, everyone to come. And although we're targeting fathers, um, it's for the whole family. And my hope is really that people would really see the importance of their role in the house for the sake of children, for the sake of a, a better community. I really believe that strong families, strong fathers build strong families and strong families build strong communities. And without talking about fatherhood and how important it is, where there's a lot of fathers out there that believe that their role in the home is insignificant compared to mom, uh, I really want to not, not really per se empower fathers, but educate and encourage people in the family unit, whether it's a uh, co-parenting situation or parents living in the same home, married, uh, what have you, to really evaluate their role in the family and everybody else's role in the family come together as a team. I, I think good things, good things happen when we have this conversation. Yeah. And, and who knows who we will impact yeah. and who knows what lesson he or she will take from this event and how that gets translated to a child and, and positively impacts that kid. And we got to push back in different ways against the different challenges in, in life on Staten Island and across the city in 2016. This is a really important uh, aspect of it. So I'm looking forward to it. And I think nothing but good things uh, stem from it. Thank you. So we want to encourage everyone to come out Saturday, April 9th at Port Richmond High School for the New York City Fatherhood and Family Enrichment Conference.